Welcome back. Sorry, it's been a couple days since I worked on the outboard. Um, I recorded the video on my iPhone and it took about an hour's worth of recording. Um, and I think the files corrupt from my iPhone is causing issues. So I have to re record the footage. I didn't want to go through them. So everything that happened. So well, I'm gonna give. You, let me go ahead and take this time before the next airplane comes. So under the cowling, there is the full start mechanism, which I left because I need to have a backup in case what I did to this stops working. <laughs> um, we have the full start mechanism under the bracket that holds it down towards the flywheel. Uh, the original flywheel was gray, the new one's red, as I showed you in the previous video. It's held on by three 10 millimeter bolts with a flat blade screwdriver. I was able to disconnect the uh, fuel filter assembly off of the grommet that holds, it in, holds this piece in place. This comes out, the flywheel I was able to undo the 17 millimeter bolt on the top with my impact driver. And then using a pry bar and hitting it with a, a small little mini sledge, uh, sorry, 10 pound mini sledge hammer, and tapping it around, it popped out of place and came up without the need of a gear puller. I put, I checked the stator, the stator looks good. I checked the, that the magnets on both flywheels are in about the same spot. And I did that with Sharpie, so I. I knew what I was doing, I just did the Sharpie on the old one, and then using a, a Chrono Tractor Speed Square, I lined up the new one to the old one and just matched the opposite end of it, and it was right on. So, the starter is that, let me get you guys on the other side. So the starter is non-OEM, it's an aftermarket Chinese made knockoff. Okay, it was 30, 40 bucks, on, 45 dollars on Amazon. I used M8 by 50 millimeter uh, screws. It holds it snug, snugly up to the housing of the uh, where it's supposed to mount to. The problem is with it not being an OEM starter, the starter sat too close to the flywheel, so I need to shim it out with, um, I used one washer on the outside and two washers on the inside and give it a little, you know, off center, not a straight on flush connection, but a little bit off. And that allowed the teeth to, once it spun up and spun the outboard, the motor on, to drop back down. But because when I tried to install it using just the uh, two screws holding it in place, it would start the engine and the engine would start whining because the spindle will not drop back down to the reset uh, location. So I had to do something to space it out a bit. Um, I'm going to bring you guys in. So as you can tell right he in here, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. I don't have a viewfinder of this GoPro. It's still a little too old. But you can see some paint from the flywheel from where it was rubbing. Uh, I wired it in using 10 gauge uh, electrical wiring. They're, they're shielded. And then they're run underneath the starter, underneath the carburetor, away from the, the the block. I if it gets to the point to where I see some um what do I call it? So that's not good. I need to put a lot of washer on that. If it gets to the point to where I see any kind of like burring burring of the sh the sheathing where it's getting too hot, I'll go ahead and cover it with a rubber um casing. But I went around the side of the of the engine, out this porthole right here, where this cover, this rubber cover, I just 
up right now. I'm gonna bring this around real quick so you see it. I uh, cut a small half paint slit and passed both the cables through. And I measured, not measure, I pulled the cables up to this little eye hole right here. And I held it and I moved and I rotated the outboard all the way out towards the left, all the way to the right. I made sure I had ample give and slack in the wires. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick video of it starting and showing the proof of concept. So, here it is, uh, the video of it running. I don't know why the video is not picking up the sound, but here's the voiceover for it. I uh, started it, let it run for a little bit to get it warmed up. I shut it down. And to show proof of concept, because the solenoid that I had originally was not working, uh, I had to manually start it with the battery, which is not an advised situation because the spark next to the gas tank will ignite any fumes if present. So here it is, it's turned off. And showing it working. And there we go. And now the spindles you see stops. And resets, which is what I needed to do originally. And I wasn't doing without the spacers. Back to the main video. Work on there. So I did that. I passed the cables through this hole up around the top with enough slack to go rotate either way. In the videos you saw, the outboard runs just fine. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for watching Leo Builds It. Please comment, like, and subscribe.